So guys, sometimes in life, you've just got to go against the grain and get aggressive with some things. And that's what we're going to be doing today as we brush our beard. So I'll tell you all about that in just a second. So welcome guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And we've got kind of a specialty technique here that uh, you can use to great effectiveness and it can actually give you a lot of benefits. And that's getting aggressive with, uh, with your brushing and going against the grain and that can do a lot of good things for you. So one thing it can do is help spread the natural sebum oil that gets trapped against your skin, if you will. I don't know if you've ever done this. This, this is it really kind of clicked with me this week. It's like, okay, I'm going to do this video. You put on the beard oil in the morning. You go through your uh, normal routine. Everything's working great. Then towards the end of the day, you can start to feel the outside of your beard drying out a little bit. And then if you run your fingers all the way against your skin, it'll come out and you'll have uh, oily, uh, some oily substances there on your fingertips. So so what that is, that's your natural sebum oil. That's not your beard oil that you put on, uh, you know, 10, 12 hours ago. So what you can do is to do an aggress aggressive brushing technique where uh, it can spread that around a little bit, which is also great if you're stuck somewhere without beard oil at the end of the day. You can spread your natural sebum oil around and get a little bit more of that benefit to it. The other thing it can do is exfoliate, all right? So that exfoliate is going to um, uh, stimulate the blood flow, which is a good thing. It's going to uh, help to minimize uh, your ingrown hairs or other pimples, those kind of things, because you're getting that oil away from your skin a little bit. All right. It can also fight against your tangles it, and uh, help you kind of style your beard and train it. Right. Especially if you go to more of a, a round brush. Right. You can go up with it. And then as you come down, you can kind of twirl it around a little bit. Uh, we'll talk about some of these uh, different tools that you might need to use in just a minute. It can also kind of help you with that underbeard. A lot of times the underbeard is what wants to curl up so much. So you can have that pulled out and it's actually going to make your beard seem a little bit longer if you are interested in that. So let's get down to the details there let's talk about some of the different tools you might can use. So this technique might not be for everybody. It depends on a couple of things. One is your wash routine and the other one is exactly how dense your beard is. You've got to find the right tool. If you can't find the right tool uh, that gives you the right amount of tension here, that's like if it's pulling out hairs and that kind of thing, uh, you definitely want to do it. So we're not yanking out any hairs by any means, but uh, let me show you some a couple different options here. So for me, this is the, the brush that I use when I get out of the shower. It's kind of a regular kind of wet detangler brush. Uh, it works really well. I want to try to get as many tines possible to my skin. Um, so if you've got a really, really dense beard, really, really long beard, this may not work for you. My beard's going to get messy here, guys. I'm just going to tell you. But you basically just go all the way up, just going against the grain with it right over the whole face of your beard on all your skin except for the mustache really can't get in there too well you can just kind of do a normal uh, brush around it and then just come straight back down with it and that's going to give you all those benefits that I talked about. But uh, you've got that type of brush. Uh, and then I really like the ones where you've got the nylon bristles. And then underneath that, you've got uh, some boards here. So uh, you're getting the nylon bristles down to your skin. And then right uh, below that, you're catching the... Uh, catching your beard hair in the uh, board's hair bristles. So that'll get you a little bit more separation as you run that through. It feels good too. You're actually massaging your face. Uh, and then you're, you're almost can get like the, the blowout beard without using any heat, especially if you've got a shorter to medium length beard, you can get that to work for and you kind of style it and shape it and it gets you a little bit more, a um, little bit more uh, width here and density and a little bit more sub substance to your beard, if you will. So like that one, uh, once again, you, if you, you may not want the ones that have um, the, uh, boards here underneath so you could use a round brush like that here's another one kind of big barrel and they have uh, some that are not quite as big so I would probably prefer this is one my wife uses but uh, I've used it before when my beard was longer uh, it's the one with a little bit uh, smaller uh, circumference on it but that one works well if you can't do that, get, do what you can. You may It may take a couple of times through it, right? You may have to use something like the, the number eight Chicago comb to start with. And you can actually do that. And, and I can actually use that for my beard, get it to work uh, with this process. You could use a beard pick. I think that's number, is that number seven? I think it's number seven. So whatever you've got to do, but I really do suggest trying the brush and just going all the way 
all the way up with it. And if you've got a really super long beer, that might be too aggravating to, to make that work. Uh, but it really does work wonders for me. The other thing that you might want to consider is how often to do this. So I would do it for me. I do it once a day, pretty much at the end, towards the end of the day when I get home from work, just kind of brush everything out before I put any more product in. And then I go work out. And then after I work out, both before I put my beard butter in for the night or a little bit more oil, something like that. So that's kind of when I do do it for me. I would not go more than once a day. Uh, you don't need it. If you've got a really dense beard and you have a hard time making this work, then you can do it less often maybe every other day. The other thing to consider is if you are washing at night, if you're washing your beard at night, doing it after you wash is not really recommended, right? Because you're you're trying to spread that natural sebum oil that builds up after, you know, 10 or 12 hours of not washing your beard. So you may want to, to do that in the morning. But if you're already doing a regular morning routine and you're using a hair dryer and uh, heat on it and that kind of stuff, you're already probably doing enough to stimulate and exfoliate and all of that cool stuff. So you may not even need this particular process if you wash at night but let me know do you ever go aggressive with the uh with the brushing and really uh kind of massage your scalp uh not your scalp your your face and exfoliate and uh spread that sebum oil around so let me know in the comments uh what if that works for you and also what type of tool do you find works best i'll put if i have any amazon links for any of this stuff uh, i'll put and put it down in the bottom if you want to check that out um, but as always guys i appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next video Thank you.